Radian XM customers, stay tuned. This is RadioDiary.com. The definition of the word radio is the transmission of signals by modulation, i.e. the process of varying a periodic waveform of electromagnet waves. Wait a minute, say that again? <laughs> this is RadioDiary.com. Radio frequencies were detected by a Scottish scientist about 1888. It was not until about 1912 when radio broadcasts were used by the United States Navy and were adopted by the commercial industry in the, in the 1920s. But XM satellite radio has taken radio to a new level. And today we're standing at the headquarters in Washington, D.C. The company timeline reads like this. In 1988, the American Mobile Satellite Corporation was founded. In 1991, American Mobile Radio, which is a co-founder of XM, and Lon Levin is the company, well, his company was founded. The, the name was changed to XM Satellite Radio in 1997 and has taken off. I remember, the, I remember the first time I heard about XM Radio. I went out and bought one for my house and one for my car. Hmm. When I first started listening, there were four DJs on Channel 60. I also conducted an interview with Bobby Bennett, one of the original DJs, when he was on, uh, well, when he was going to the company. In fact, he's on my, he's on my website now, today. And uh, he's doing a good job, for XM, that is. I recently heard that talk radio host Joe Madison of WL 1450 AM in Washington has come over to XM. And you can hear him on channel, I think it's channel 169, from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Hmm. So when you come to Washington, D.C., be sure and visit XM Satellite Radio. This is RadioDiary.com. This is RadioDiary.com.